thanks a lot ami for your support and liking this story i'll meet you every day at 9:30 pm so please don't forget to read morning comes soon both jungkook and theung is sleeping in their wonderland then suddenly theung's alarm started to ring um, as a habit and woke up as usual but he saw himself in the tight hug of his young he looked at him to see jungkook face who is sleeping carefully theung thought he should wake up young or not but he had to because he had to use washroom young he slowly muttered like kid in kindergarten if he is hit loudly teacher will punish him jungkook is jungkook he can hear his baby's voice in his dream also it doesn't matter it is high or low then saw jungkook eyes are fluttering he is still staring at jungkook's face jungkook opened his eyes and saw them is looking at him like lost puppy Good morning baby Jungkook said and kissed Thang's forehead and asked Do you need anything Thang nods his head Young I want to go Thang said and Jungkook understood understood that he is really holding his baby really tight so he removed his hand from him Thang immediately said and he started to remove his blanket and then he saw he has no cloth So he immediately covered himself. Jungkook saw Thang's action. He can't control himself. He burst in laugh. Thang remembered what happened at night, and now his young is laughing. It made him embarrassed and shy at the same time. He looked at his young. It's not good. laughing at me jungkook knew that look so he stopped it and got up from his place bring towel and gave it to them to cover his lower half body after and half both them and jungkook got ready and they left the cafe them drop jungkook to his home and then he went to his home when jungkook entered in home in his home he is already 9:30 mrs jian and mr jian who are having breakfast together watching at his son who was smiling like crazy mrs jian can't control himself when jungkook comes near her he said crazy crazily mad in love Jungkook greets his mother and father and takes place beside them to have breakfast then he replied I am always crazy in love mom oh you are not denying that you are crazy Mrs Mr Jung said teasingly to his son Jungkook shook his head with a smile and said not at all because I am crazy for them oh my god looking at your face i think something happened between both of you mrs jian said excitedly and concerned for thang jungko understood so he said i did nothing he thought i only gave relaxation to my innocent baby after having his breakfast jungko went to his room to change his clothes Mrs. Jian and Mr. Jian looked at each other, and Mrs. Jian said, "We should talk to them." Yeah, you are right. Really, we should. And they are going to into speed. Mr. Jian said. Mrs. Jian understood what Mr. Jian is pointing. She nodded to him and said, "I will talk to with Mrs. Kim before this." kids two week later both jungkook and theung become more close to each other they both talk and with each other every night for an hour before sleeping it is always jungkook who remember things about his office and his family
has decided both of them went to that daily they also knew each other more than before jungkook always said i love you to them but in the whole time them never replied him the sentence which jungkook wanted to hear jungkook never wanted to force his baby he is happy because his baby is with him now jungkook is worried because they are at least at the last week of the month but he did to no answer of them he is really scared of many negative thoughts coming inside his mind what if them didn't like him what if them reject him what if them is just acting to not hurt him and their family Jungkook knows his baby is genuine and innocent but he can't able to control his negative thoughts which are blowing his mind inside his mind like it stops he just hope them no answer will be yes to the marriage them on the other side is focusing on his work them is focusing on his perf- perfume this year at christmas he wanted to launch his own perfume brand he is working hard on his perfume inside the his studio he is happy with his life no complications and nothing he is productive happy and content he likes jungkook's company now he is feeling more comfortable with his young every time he heard jungkook saying him i love you his heart really beats like it made him realize that he likes his young too but them is still not sure about his love as usual he is slow in heavy feelings them didn't know what to do and what to say at the end of the month he also can't able to sleep properly because it's the last week of the month he is still not sure that jungkook is the one who he want to be with he is not sure about he deserves jungkook or not they have realized in these days of dating jungkook the love of jungkook for him is waste like past like see he don't get why jungkook love him so much sometimes he felt he should hug his young for his love kindness trust and care for him at the same time without clearing his own thoughts he don't want to give false hope to his young at least 5 pm it's already 5 pm jungkook called the young to go on date but they are really tired due to his work on his perfume they have said i'm tired you can we skip today please hearing pleading from sound of them jungkook didn't force him so he replied okay request we will go tomorrow Okay thank you him take care bye thanks said and disconnected the his call thank you in the book where he written all the things about his new perfume he read all the ingredients of perfume and how he did the process of uh, of this perfume he read all the record record of perfume making process time and result then went to his private room in candle studio where he has desktop he type all the information he recorded about the perfume in google documents he thought saving in google documents is more secure than in normal folder after completing all the process then went to his home thanks ring the doorbell and door opened his jaw dropped seeing at the person in front of him he saw a young young is standing in front of him wearing a pen young young why are you here they ask instantly to jump up without knowing what he is asking because he is confused stunned shocked and surprised due to the fact that jungkook is in his home then jungkook frowned and said why you don't like that i am here jungkook said with little bit upset tone little bit flashback jungkook is here to give surprise to them the other then he really missing his baby so he wanted to see him so he called 
his then mrs king said to came home he will make jungkook thanks for this you can accompany him impress him more jungkook also wanted more chance to impress his baby so he immediately accepted mrs king's proposal jungkook called his mom and informed her he is going to uncle mrs king home for dinner so don't wait for him to dinner mrs jung understood her son and disconnected the call jungkook directly went to kim min son from his office jungkook and his uncle prepared everything for dinner jungkook is just sitting dining table at the time he heard doorbell he know it is them because mr kim uncle and he both came together only person remaining is them mrs kim is standing beside him look at jungkook and said go your wife is here he said and winked at jungkook jungkook happily went to open the door because he really wanted to see his baby's face which is he missing throughout the day jungkook opened the door and saw his baby is standing with in front in front of him with confused look jungkook expected at least them will smile at him but what he got was really made him upset because them asking him him why are you here flashback ends that is why jungkook replied with his upset tone why you don't like me to be here Thang realized what he did. He made his young upset. Thang thought, Thang, you but at least think little bit before talk. You should at least greet him. You directly ask him why he is here. You are really pabo. Jungkook saw Thang is spacing out, so he coughed, and it made Thang to come out from his clumsy inner mind. I am so sorry, young. I didn't mean that. Thang said softly with embarrassment all over his face. Jungkook looked at him and smiled. His mood now shifted from upset to teasing mood. He got idea to teach his baby. You really want to forgive me to forgive you? Jungkook said nonchalantly. Jungkook is very serious this time because Jungkook never speak with. him like this so he moved his head up and down like agreeing to jungkook jungkook raised his eyebrow and said i'll forgive you if you kiss me now thang look at us jungkook like are you crazy we are standing at the door and you are asking me to kiss you thang take single step backward from jungkook and said him we are at the main door mom and dad will be They are so I can't kiss you. Now Jungkook thought for a while and said, "I don't want. I don't know what you will do today. I want my kiss because first you break the rule of our daily, our date by not coming to our date, and second you made me upset. I was waiting for you here cooking dinner. At least you should smile at me." When I opened the door, Jungkook said and left. Startled, Jung Thang Thang went inside. He saw Jungkook and Thang and his mom is sitting dinner. Mr. Kim saw his son coming inside, so he said, "Good evening, Thang. Go and freshen up quickly. Your mom and your young made a special dinner for you." When Thang heard Jungkook made dinner for him, he really felt a stab in his heart. He felt he badly. Hurt his young thang. Look at her, Jungkook, and saw Jungkook is laughing with his mom. Thang felt Jungkook is ignoring him, so he went inside without greeting his mom. After freezing up, Thang came downstairs. He saw his mom, young and dead, are talking about something. Mrs. Kim saw his baby and smiled at him and said, "Let's eat." Baby, we were waiting for you. Then knocked at him. All of them is settled on chair of dining table. Then Jungkook sat side by side where Mrs. Kim and Mr. Kim sit opposite of them. Jungkook served them without talking to him. Then didn't say anything. He just ate silently. Then saw his mom and Jungkook is talking and enjoying their food. He just feeling pain in his heart.
Mrs. Kim and Mr. Kim Sahison is not in good mood. So Mr. Kim asks, "Are you okay, baby? You are looking pale. Is something happened in shop?" Then thought he never saw his expressions to anybody this much easily. Why his expressions? Too easy to read to do for his father and mother. He also no, he can't escape from his mother. So he started to speak. Just I am too tired. I performed whole experiment of perfume making once again. It take me eight hours to do the experiment. Then I have to observe everything about its temperature, its boiling point and melting point, and I recorded everything in Google document. Jungkook listened all the explanation of the young he thought oh that's why my baby is so tired not in good mood but baby i am not gonna leave you today you have to kiss me today because you never insisted kiss first and all these weeks it's always me yeah then never insisted kiss and he never said i love you to jungkook which is making jungkook worried then you should eat and rest properly mrs kim said to them mrs kim also observed jungkook and them are not talking to each other he saw jungkook is observing how jungkook is serving them but he never talked to him he also saw how them is eating everything whatever jungkook is serving him without any single word Mrs. Kim looked at his husband who was chewing his food. Mrs. Kim pinched Mr. Kim's thigh and said him to finish food because Mrs. Kim wanted to give private time to the boys. Both Mrs. Kim and Mr. Kim finished their food and said, "Okay, we will go to rest now. You both eat and go to rest." Jungkook I already informed Mrs. Yeon that you are sleeping here today. Mrs. Kim said and turned to his baby Tham and continued. Baby, your room is staying here. Can you change bed sheet of guest room? Actually, I forget to tell housekeeper. So, Jungkook listened. Mrs. Kim and he also knew that his baby is tired. So he said, "It's okay, uncle. Just give me the bed sheet. I will change it." And also, Tham is so tired. Okay, do what you want. The bed sheet is in the guest rooms. So far, Mrs. Kim said, "And leave the room with his husband." Mr. Kim also said good night before leaving. Both the boys, both Jungkook and Tham, is eating only the sound of ceramic cutters can be heard. They are nothing more. Both are not talking to each other. Tham at least try to take glance at his young boy. Jungkook is completely avoiding him. This time, Tham knew he really messed up very bad. And this time. He's very kind, caring, soft and cute. He's not even glancing at him. Both of them finished their food, kept all the remaining food in the refrigerator and dishes in the washing machine. They did all these things. Now both of them in the guest room beside Thang's room. Thang removed the bed sheet from bed and placed new bed sheet. He turned to take. New bed sheet from sofa. Then he saw Jungkook already holding it. Him give me the bed sheet. Then said looking at his him, but Jungkook didn't budge from his place. He just kept glaring at him. Jungkook wanted to know Jungkook's feeling. If Jungkook kissing this time himself without Jungkook initiation, that means he is some place in his baby's heart. He wanted them to miss him like he misses his baby. He wanted them to know he need his him in his life. So he grabbed the seat more tightly when he saw them. He's coming near him. Them kept his hand on to take the baby, but it didn't came in his hand. He. Look at that, Jungkook is staring at him. He now knows Jungkook is not going to give up. So, on whatever he is doing, then again pull the bed sheet from full force because he also don't want to accept defeat. When Tham pulled bed sheet forcefully, Jungkook never thought Tham will do something like this. Jungkook lost his balance and both of them landed on bed. 
and god both of them landed on the bed not floor jungkook face and then faces facing each other jungkook look at the thanks eyes who is already looking at him jungkook thought if i stay like this i will lose control and do something which may cause them to limp for days so jungkook immediately tried to stand but before he could do two hands grabbed him then saw jungkook is trying to stand so he immediately circled his hand around jungkook's neck and pulled him closer because then thought it is the opportunity to clear things with his young he can't tolerate the feeling of ignorance from his young he can't able to sleep if his young don't talk to him today thang blocked his eyes with jungkook and started to speak and ever ever wanted to hurt you young i always speak without thinking you know that mom is right i'm clumsy but when i saw you at the door i really felt happy i didn't know what to say and how to express my feelings young that's why i ask you like that once again i'm really sorry young thanks said jungkook sat down eyes are filled with tears he felt really bad for making his baby to cry and he wiped the tears from his thumb carefully and softly then pulled jungkook more closer to him and he pressed his soft lips on jungkook's pulpy pink lips and a bite jungkook lips like how jungkook did to him jungkook opened his mouth and then did the kiss then then he started to cut some places in his mind like jungkook so everyone this is end of today's episode i'll see you tomorrow at 9:30 remember the time and don't forget to read and also all the episodes link you will get in the description box if you miss any episode you can check it out so see you tomorrow bye